In section 5.3, you will add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. To add or subtract polynomials, add or subtract the coefficients of like terms. In this first example, we're adding two cubics together. And since they're both positive quantities, we can just remove parentheses. Once we've removed parentheses, we want to add like terms. So we've got 4x cubed and negative 5x cubed. That's a total of negative 1x cubed. 4x squared added to negative 2x squared is positive 2x squared. Negative 3x added to negative 4x is a total of negatives, negative 7x. And 10 added to negative 4 is positive 6. So we end up with this cubic. Okay, in the second example, we're subtracting. Now we have to be careful with our signs. The first quantity is positive, so we can just remove parentheses. But the second quantity is negative, so we're distributing negative 1 through that quantity. Negative 1 times 3y squared is negative 3y squared. Negative 1 times negative 4y is positive 4y. And negative 1 times positive 7 is negative 7. And now adding like terms, we have 6y squared added to negative 3y squared. That's positive 3y squared. Negative 6y and positive 4y is negative 2y. And negative 13 and negative 7 is a total of negative 20. So we end up with this trinomial as a difference. To multiply two polynomials, you multiply each term of the first polynomial by each term of the second polynomial. We're distributing, so we're first going to distribute 2x through that trinomial. 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed. 2x times negative 4x is negative 8x squared. And 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. Then we start over with 3. 3 times 3x squared is 9x squared. 3 times negative 4x is negative 12x and 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Now we add like terms, so we have our x cubed term, 6x cubed. We have negative 8x squared added to 9x squared. That's positive 1x squared. We have negative 10x added to negative 12x. That's a total of negative 22x. And we have one constant term, negative 15. So this product is a cubic. In the second example, we're multiplying three binomials together. Well, we can only multiply two binomials together at once, so we'll multiply x times x and get x squared. x times negative 1, negative 1x. Then we'll start over with negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x, and negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So adding our like terms in the middle, this trinomial is x squared minus 2x plus 1 and it's going to get multiplied to that third binomial, x plus 2. So distributing x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Now we distribute negative 2x through that binomial. Negative 2x times x is negative 2x squared. And negative 2x times 2 is negative 4x. One more time, 1 times x is 1x and 1 times 2 is 2. So now we can add like terms. We get x cubed. We have 2x squared added to negative 2x squared. That's 0. So we have negative 4x and positive 1x. That's negative 3x. And positive 2 for a constant term. So this product is a cubic trinomial. Here we have a list of special product patterns, the sum and difference pattern, the square of a binomial pattern, and the cube of a binomial pattern. In our next three examples, we'll look at uh, those patterns. Here we have the sum and difference of the same two terms. And when we distribute, we'll see what we get. 5y times 5y is 25y squared. 
Five y times negative three is negative 15 y. Starting over, we have three times five y, that's a positive 15 y. And three times negative three is negative nine. When we add our like terms in the middle, negative five y and po uh, negative 15 y and positive 15 y sum to zero. So we end up with this binomial, 25 y squared minus nine. We end up with a difference of two perfect squares and this is the only time that we multiply a binomial times a binomial and get a binomial. In the second example, we have a binomial squared, or 4a plus 7 multiplied to itself. So when we distribute here, we'll get 4a times 4a is 16a squared, 4a times 7 is 28a, then we start over, seven times four a is another 28 a, and seven times seven is 49. So adding those like terms in the middle this time, they're the same terms, so we get 16 a squared plus 56 a plus 49. What we end up with is a perfect square trinomial. This perfect square trinomial factors into this binomial squared, 4a plus 7, the quantity squared. In our third example, we're cubing a binomial. So we have mn minus 6 multiplied to itself three times. So we can do all the distributing, multiplying two of these binomials together first and then getting that trinomial and multiplying it to the third binomial. So mn times mn is m squared n squared. mn times negative six is negative six mn. Starting over, we have negative six times mn again, so another negative six mn. And negative six times negative six is positive 36. So adding our like terms in the middle, we'll get a trinomial. And that trinomial is m squared n squared, a total of negative 12 mn plus 36. And we'll multiply this trinomial times that third binomial, mn minus 6. So distributing m squared n squared times mn is m cubed n cubed and m squared n squared times negative six is negative six m squared n squared. Starting over, negative 12 mn times mn is negative 12 m squared n squared, and negative 12 mn times negative six is positive 36. Uh, no, it's not. It's positive, let's see, this is gonna be 12 um, and seven, 72 mn, and uh, where are we at here now? We're going to start over with 36. 36 times mn is positive 36 mn, and 36 times negative 6 is negative 36, 3, 18, 216. Okay, and now adding like terms, we have our m cubed n cubed. We have negative 6m squared n squared times plus negative 12m squared n squared. That's a total of negative 18m squared n squared. And then adding 72mn and 36mn, we're going to get a total of 8 and 10, 108mn. And our constant term at the end is negative 216. So we end up with this product, m cubed n cubed minus 18m squared n squared plus 108mn minus 216. New highway markers are placed every 6x minus 6 feet along a stretch of highway. The total number of markers is represented by x squared minus 3x plus 1. Write a model for the distance along the highway where the markers are placed. And then we're going to use our model 
to answer that last question. But let's find our model first. This total distance is going to equal the distance the markers are apart, 6x minus 6, times the number of markers, x squared minus 3x plus 1. So we'll distribute to put this formula in standard form. 6x times x squared is 6x cubed. 6x times negative 3x is negative 18x squared. And 6x times 1 is 6x. Starting over, we have negative 6x squared, positive 18x, and negative 6. And adding like terms, our distance uh, formula here will be 6x cubed, uh, a total of negative 24x squared, a total of 24x, and a negative 6 at the end. Okay, then answering the question that's asked, if the markers are placed every 528 feet, what length of highway will receive new markers? So the markers are placed 528 feet, and we know that 6x minus 6 rec represents the distance that the markers are placed apart. So we'll just set 528 equal to 6x minus 6 to find x. So adding 6 to both sides, I'm going to get 534 on the right. And dividing both sides by 6, x is going to equal 89. And now I can substitute 89 into our formula for total distance and simplify. So simplifying, I'm going to get, I'll use my calculator. I'm going to get a total here of 4041840. That many feet. But now this distance would be better expressed as miles. So if I divide this number of feet by 5,280, which is the number of feet in a mile, I can represent this distance, this total distance, <coughs> as 765.5 miles. That is the stretch along the highway that these markers, markers will be placed. Include with your notes of this video guided practice problems 1 through 6 found on pages 346 and 348 of your textbook.